Off you pop to get into your tourist dress code. Sandals with the socks, the bum bag. What is t tourist? When I'm a tourist, I wear bikinis. No two-piece for you, B. Ah, ready for takeoff. And before you can say airport beers, here's tonight's first guest, Helen, sporting her finest bum bag. Hello. Well, hello, Helen. How are you? How are you, darling, on this wonderful day? Yeah. Well, look, why don't you help yourself to a little welcome drink? Oh, I'd love to, thank you. Ah, a little cocktail. Cocktail, lovely. Let me join you. Yeah, why not? Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Yes. Hey, Next in, once he's found the place, it's Joe. Oh, hey, Joe! Hello. Hey, hey, come on! How's it going? It's good. Grab yourself one of these. Thank you very much. Cheers. What a dream. You look great. Joe, I've got, but you got the map. Was it difficult finding your way here, though? It was a nightmare, um, because this is a map of Abergavenny oh. uh, in Wales, so this <laughs> didn't actually help me in the slightest. Popping in on his way to the beach, here's Dean. Hello, Hello. 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 Dean. Are you right, guys? Looking yes. good, brother. Come, oh, hey, come and grab a drink, oh, bro. Thank you very much. You're looking Everyone's... as cute as ever. Oh, oh God. Welcome to the holiday. Oh, thank you very much. I like what you've done in the place. Uh, What's in this? This is beautiful, by the way. Um, that's a Jamaican cane distillation, an overproof rum. Lovely. Do I lick the sides? Yeah, yeah you can do anything that you want. Finally, ready to rock tonight's airport runway, it's Felicia. Felicia! Oh. Please, come and grab a glass. You're the most glamorous tourist I've ever seen. Yeah. Well, you know. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to my evening. In the kitchen, B's already got that holiday vibe. I felt as though I'd walked into, like, Heathrow Airport or something. Everyone looks fantastic. Right then, time for takeoff. The tarts get a bake and the pears get plated. They're crazy, aren't they? You said it. First port of call, Europe. Jocks away! Bee's starter is prosciutto and asparagus puff pastry with a purple poached pear. Bon appetit. This is delicious, man. Mm. This is really, really delicious. Tasty. Yeah, I've never had purple poached peach before. Bless you. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's a pear. <laughs> <laughs> After the, after the, um, the cocktail, things happen, so... <laughs> tomato, <laughs> tomato. Bee's starter, actually, sort of took me a bit by surprise. The sort of saltiness of the prosciutto and the asparagus, along with the creaminess of the cheese, was complemented really well with the um, poached pear... or plum, or whatever it was. Some sort of fruit beginning with a pea. I liked the starter. I really loved it, actually. Um, it was surprising. Yeah, it was nice. I wish I had more. Do you know what? My only criticism is that there wasn't more. Um, so what was the inspiration with the pair? I was travelling on an airline, and um, because of a crying baby, I'd, I'd been moved into, like, the first class. And um, they offered me my food, and I got my starter. And there it was. It was poached pears, prosciutto, wrapped asparagus. So I was like, mm, this is nice. That's a really boring story, isn't it? Yeah, I just got upgraded and uh, got this meal and it was lush. I mean, yeah. Cool. It's a bit harsh. Listen, guys, a question. What is the most challenging food you've ever eaten? I've had a thing called um, duck blood soup. What? Who? Oh. What? Uh, I'll set the scene, yeah. So, I'm, <laughs> right, so I'm, in a little, I'm in a little village called Sapa in northern Vietnam. And we're having a big, like, little village party. We're drinking a lot of, like, rice wine. And, um, and then they're preparing the chicken and the duck for, you know, for consumption. And then they collect all the blood. <laughs> Add lots of chilli, garlic and coriander, and then they pass it around. I think that was a ritual, mate. Why would you want to drink the blood of a duck with chilli and garlic and coriander? without it even being boiled. He didn't even care about the germs in that blood. He drank duck blood. That's absolutely disgusting. Stomach suitably turned, it's time for B to duck out to prepare the main. He fills his planting canoes with the lamb mince. I hope that my guests 
I was stuffed as these plantains. On go cheese and spring onion, then into the oven with a lot of it. I'm happy. Happy as Larry. This is perfect. Does what? I hope they like it as much as I do. The only job left is to make little sandcastles of rice. Next stop, South America and Central Africa. Loosen your seatbelts. And there you have it. Stuffed pecan paprika plantains with a turmeric tarragon and tamarind rice. Um, you all right, Helen? I'm just glad I've got the water. Is it too hot for you? It's fine. Oh, it's just it, it's fine. It's just me. I can't take too much spice. I don't know why. I think <laughs> someone could use a fan. Helen thinks everything is spicy. I think she needs to really check out her taste palette because that wasn't spicy. A little bit too spicy for me. I think I'm still recovering from the spice last night. <laughs> so, yeah, sort of the double whammy of the lamb and the spice, I wasn't that keen on. I'm not like a minced meat fan. Mm. Right, OK. And um, I don't like beans. So you don't like anything on your plate? Do you know what? I'm a picky eater, guys. Felicia obviously didn't absolutely love what was happening on her plate this evening. Um, but, you know, not everyone's going to love everything. That lamb and beans. Mm -mm, mm -mm. His lamb does not touch my lamb. <laughs> I don't like this and I don't like that, but, you know, that's people. That's the sort of thing that you expect. With a mixed reaction to the main, it's time to get to the bottom of B's tongue-twisting titles. You've got tarragon, turmeric, and... Uh, tamarind. Tamarind, yeah, in the right. The three Ts, yeah. So what's going on here? Like, you've got three Ps and three Ts. Well, I know that they go together, and I'm a lyricist, so deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> you say you write, has anything you've written, like, been published or, like, performed or...? Yeah, lots. Care to, care to, <laughs> care to mention one? Um, I'm a musician um, in a band, a successful band. They're called the Alabama Three. They do the theme music. What the theme. hell? Yes, brother. We did a theme music to Sopranos. Um. Yeah. Watch out, B. Think you've got a super fan? I kind of sensed he had, like, a musical aspect to him. Um, and then he said that he was in Alabama Three. I was very impressed that he was a musician. What? I really want to kind of pick his brains a little bit. But, yeah, that, that, was, that was mad. That was really cool. I don't know who Alabama Three are, um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna have a little bit of a research. B, mate. Yeah. I think that warrants a bit of a demonstration. Of what? You rapping. Wait, my forget you have no lives there. I really feel this way this year. Get to the vibe, Nathan. It loving your heart, you living it. Makes me hard to see standing there. Can't you hear like a dove? Hyper, but I've spent those hours back like angel. You're gonna be running with loves at home, but having this all over the film and not any sorrow. Can I raise my glass? Do you want to talk about me? You? I don't know. That's too fast for me. I think that was too fast for everyone. Wait, you were rapping? Were you just I rapping? Thought, I wasn't rapping, I was just thinking. I thought you were having a... Oh, I thought you were just talking out. fast. I was just thinking out loud. B's rap was a bit mad. I didn't really uh, understand a word. Time for an embarrassing game, I think. Listen, guys, we're going to go around the world today. Each envelope holds the name of a country. You have to do the traditional dance of that country for everyone else to guess. We're going to start with Helen. Hawaii. Yay! Yeah. Aloha! Your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Anyone? Spain. Spain. Oh, my God. <laughs> Joe is a natural dancer. My feet are fine. A bit more head movement. Someone put him out of his misery. Help me out here. Come on. <laughs> Egypt. Yes. If you ask any of my friends, they will testify that I can't dance in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> New Zealand! You're too quick. Very good. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I know what it is. Russia. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Bravo, bravo. Well done. Absolutely loved it. And I was surprised how many of them I guessed, actually. I was quite surprised with that. Helen was pretty quick, but it just shows that she's competitive. 